my name is Tara Allen, and today I'm just going to talk to you about sodium. So sodium is something that is naturally occurring in your diet, um, and I have some foods here. I'm going to talk about I have something in the sink too, so my counter doesn't get wet, but I'll go over all of these in a second. So how much sodium do you need per day? Less than 2,300 milligrams per day. So that is something that you might want to um, think about or just say roughly 2,000 milligrams. So, so just remember every day, 2,000 milligrams. We do need salt. What it equals is one teaspoon. So just one little teaspoon, not a tablespoon, but a little teaspoon of salt per day is something that you would need to regulate your body. So um, what does it do that's good? Because salt is not bad. Um, sometimes when you think of salt, you're like, oh no, it's bad. But what it does is it regulates extracellular fluid in the body, or the levels in your body. Um, it's essential for hydration. It helps with nerve impulse um, and muscle contraction. It also does other things that couples with potassium that I really won't go into right now. just wanted to do something just simple health 101, but just those are some basic things you need. Now, this um, one teaspoon of salt, this is for average uh, person. If you are an athlete or you do excessive sweating, um, you're extreme running, you know, you're doing um, extreme cardio per day, you're going to need more. Um, than the recommended amount. So I just wanted to give that little tidbit that um, athletes tend to be um, deficient in salt um, because they don't get enough. But if it's just, we're just talking average, you know, you do regular workouts, um, nothing too strenuous, um, or not working out, you don't need more than one teaspoon. Okay, so now what if we get an excess amount of salt? Um, it can, it's, it's toxic to the body actually. So what it does is it causes hypertension, and that's probably what you're more familiar with is salt, fat, blood pressure. You know, um, that's just something that we hear a lot kind of in the media or you, or, or you might see on the news and things like that. But rarely do we ever hear, you know, what, are, what is it that it does that's good? But now we do know that it causes hypertension. Um, it can cause edema in the body, so it can make you hold on to water retention. Um, it actually can cause osteoporosis and hurt your, um, your bones in your body. What it does is um, in your urine, you're going to lose the calcium. So you have urinary calcium loss. Um, now, where, where are these foods found that can be toxic? Processed foods, uh, packaged foods. When you go out to a restaurant, um, a lot of those foods are prepackaged so that they can prepare them really fast. Um, and then fast foods, of course. So those are just some things. Now, what are the kind of salts that you would want? High quality sea salt, um, salts that have a little bit of a, like a brownish tint, or reddish tint. This is a pink Himalayan salt, um, super fine. I like super fine when I cook because it, you know, um, it actually dissolves better or faster. But um, so just something that is uh, not bleached, doesn't have additives, doesn't have chemicals. Now. I have a salt here that actually my husband hates, um, and I'm gonna throw it away after this video, but it is a sea salt. So you, I, I bought it, I thought it was good, but it actually has this additive called anthocyanin, and then some other kind of aroma, but it's purple. So this purple sea salt is probably something that I don't want, so I'm going to get rid of it, I'm gonna pitch it. But this pink Himalayan salt, it actually will have minerals that are good for your body. Um, the salt that you find that's white, that has been bleached, and um, that's something that probably is not good. It's, it's been stripped of everything that's found in nature, and that would be natural. So um, that's just a little thing. Okay, let's get to these, these items here. And I also have a frozen item. This is something that we actually eat, Thai shrimp gyozas. Um, I just took a look. Uh, we have more than five pieces because they're just little dumplings, but... One serving size is, is just five pieces, and there's three servings in here. So um, the sodium level is 30%. So I've got 730 milligrams, um, and I've got 30% uh, in just one serving. So 90% of your daily servings are just in this little bag. This is actually a very small bag, and I could probably eat all of these. 
but uh, that'd be 90% of my sodium intake, and that would be not good. And I'm not even sure what kind of sodium they used, um, unless it says, it just says salt here. It doesn't tell me if it's sea salt or what kind of sea salt or if it's um, a high quality or something that would be good for my body. So that's another thing to look at your ingredients and know what kind of salt is being put in your body. Um, I have this organic black bean here. Um, I got it because it's, it's organic and I wanted to make tacos or something like that. But now that I look at it, um, it's three and a half servings in here. So the sodium level is about 20%. So I want to triple that. So 24 to 60% sodium in just this one can. Um, so that's, that's very high. And again, it doesn't tell me what, oh, this says sea salt. So it did actually tell me that it is sea salt in there. All right, I just grabbed some peas from the store just to show here. Um, again, three and a half servings in here and close to 20%. So again, 60%. And the type, it just says salt. So I'm assuming, because this said sea salt and this is regular salt, that this is gonna be one that was probably processed or bleached um, because they are cheaper. So the cheaper the, the salt, the less of it is good for you. Now this can um, is very tricky. I just wanted to bring this to the attention. This is just a chicken noodle soup, um, a Campbell's Chunky. I just grabbed it. I was like, what is it that people eat, you know? So it has two servings in here. And it has a split label. And you'll see this a lot even in uh, vegetables. And I wanted to bring this to your attention because the map is not correct. If, I, if there's two servings and it's saying one serving is 110 calories and now it's saying 230, well, it should be 220. Um, there's, another, there's a few other, others where the map is very incorrect. Um, that one's kind of close. It's only like 10 calories off, but there's others that are very, very wrong. And we found it in um, other cans too at the store where we're like, wait a minute, this math isn't correct. This, is, this isn't correct at all. Um, but so you want to make sure you look at that serving size, very important. And then let's see, I'm looking at the, for the ingredients. There are tons of different ingredients in here. Um, so just making sure you know what kind of salt, and it says salt. So I'm assuming this is going to be the salt that's not even going to be good for my body with no um, minerals or anything. And last thing, it's about 40% sodium. So this is another high, high um, sodium level. So I just wanted to show you that. So just remember processed foods, packaged, restaurant foods, and fast foods. And lastly, um, I have here just four examples, McDonald's, Arby's, Pizza Hut, oh, I have five, Burger King, and Wendy's. So last thing here, Wendy's Basic Classic Hamburger, I just found this online, has 1,500 milligrams of sodium. And, just, and it's not a double, it's just a regular bacon hamburger with no cheese. So if you add cheese, you're going to have high, oh, even higher because cheese has so much sodium. But if I am only supposed to have 2,300 milligrams and I have 1,500 here, I really don't have, I don't even have 1,000 left. Um, that's just one hamburger, not even the fries or anything. Pizza Hut. For a 14 inch pepperoni pizza, which is the most common, um, just the, I think that's just like a medium pizza um, for one slice. So not even just one slice is 1,600 milligrams of sodium. So again, over half of my daily value in one slice of pizza at Pizza Hut. All right, so just if you have more than one piece, then you've had way more sodium for your daily amount. Um, and that's where you, that's gonna talk, make your body toxic. So that is toxic to the body. Burger King, a Whopper, I figured that's kind of, um, well again, over a thousand gram, uh, grams of sodium. Um, and that's without cheese. So you add the cheese, you're gonna have more, you can, that's pretty toxic to the body. Uh, McDonald's uh, quarter pounder with cheese is almost 1,200, so um, almost half, a little, a little over half of what you would need for the day. Again, without fries, um, Arby's, this is crazy. This was actually my worst um, example for a roast beef sandwich, because I was like, well, what is it that people get at Arby's that's the most common is the roast beef sandwich. Um, almost 2,000 milligrams of sodium in one roast beef sandwich. So that would be, you wouldn't have to eat anything for the rest of the day, etc. 
except that one. But if you had the fries with it and everything, you you've gone from what is the what what does sodium do good for the body? Now you've gone down to this toxic. So these things like hypertension, anemia, losing calcium out of your body, um, and those are just a few things. That's where you go into the to toxicity. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you watch your sodium levels.